Hi, Sagittarius. It is the Sun Sage. And thank you guys so much for tuning into your love connection update. This is where I am taking a look at a love connection to see what is going on for you and someone. If you are not in a love connection, this may not resonate, but you can apply it to your love life in general to see if there's anything that resonates. Okay. So Sagittarius placements, also cross watchers. Let's see what's going on. All right. In your love connection. What do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, a lot. Two of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Ten of Swords. Okay. Page of Pentacles. What do we have for Sag? All right. We have the Death, Rebirth, and the Five of Swords in the Reverse with the Two of Swords. Okay. This is like stay or go energy. There's some twos here. There's two endings. There's like, should I release this? I feel like it's the right thing to do. When it comes to your love connection, Sagittarius... Somebody isn't seeing that the other person isn't happy. Okay. With the four cups showing up, somebody, the other person may not care, right? They could just be doing them, something like that. But somebody is not picking up that somebody is on the verge of leaving, making a decision to leave, something behind to get out of this situation. I'm definitely picking up where, you know, there's an unhappy partner here. I don't feel so much that somebody is torn between two people as much as torn between two different paths to take, right? So let's break it down. The two of pentacles. You can feel overlooked by your partner. Like they're always busy. They're always distracted. Things are very boring. They There, there hasn't been any excitement in a while. What's the two of pentacles? The chair, right? There's something about excitement where somebody's always on the go or somebody's always traveling. Somebody's always like doing something, um, maybe even just work related, but it just feels like there's a lack of excitement that, that you know exists. It's just been missing for a while. What's the chariot? Okay. So strength, six of pentacles, five of swords. Yeah, I feel like things have drastically changed in a connection where it used to be very exciting and fulfilling and it felt like a very strong dynamic. It could now feel like you're being um, breadcrumbs with the Six of Pentacles and Five of Swords. It could actually feel to some of you like somebody is intentionally sabotaging this relationship with you, your partner, right? It could also just feel like the distractions are manifesting in work form. This person, you know, choosing to put a lot into work, but not put a lot into you. I'm just getting that there's like a relationship that somebody isn't seeing that the other person is not satisfied with what's being done, what's being given and possibly potentially looking for a way out, potentially looking for a way out. Three of, of wands here. Let's see what the Four of Cups is saying. Yeah, new love. Somebody's bored and they're like, I want something exciting, something fulfilling, something where I get butterflies again, okay? This could just be a relationship, you know, you've had for a long time. It's no longer exciting. Somebody's contemplating new love. Three of Swords in the reverse. Six of Swords contemplating leaving for sure. Somebody is. Because this is a very strong sabotage, almost like somebody is sabotaging this on purpose. And it feels like it's within the relationship. I don't have like court cards, so I can't say, oh, there's a king of pentacles sabotaging this. There's somebody that feels like they're within. These are energies existing within your connection. And so there's boredom because 
the excitement that was there in the beginning is not. And it almost feels like with the three of swords in the reverse, six of swords, somebody's like, you know what? I'm not even asking you for excitement anymore. I can go get it somewhere else. I can go to a new person. Um, I can also pick up, yeah, see, there's the page of cups where I was just about to divert from that message. It, it is here that somebody could already be talking to somebody else, but I will say this could also be the energy of somebody only wanting attention from the specific person, the soulmate or the person they wanted from, but that person just isn't giving them that attention. They, you could feel like you're drifting apart. Somebody could feel like they're drifting apart in this relationship. And then we have the ton of swords, which is indicating that something is definitely not the way that it used to be. Something feels over judgment. Something feels like, okay, yeah, we're, we're at a point where, you know, maybe this is new for this connection, but something feels like it's at a point where with, ju with judgment and the five of cups, it's too, it's becoming too overwhelmingly emotional to continue to revisit the same issues, the same dilemmas. And so that could be why somebody is like, why don't we just move on? Why don't we just, you know, we're drifting apart. Let's just move away. Like there's a decision for sure that has to be made now in your connection. Let's see the page of pentacles. It's like somebody is uh, offering to have a new beginning where, okay, let's go out on a date night or let's go on more dates to see if that'll change the situation. Eight of wands. Yeah. So this is about some type of opportunity. All right. Somebody within the connection is going, Hey, let's do this. This can be exciting. This can really change things. Um, the will of fortune, this can really um, bring us back to where we were in a relationship but that could also lead to some type of conflict or fighting or disagreement, five of wands. You and the person you're dealing with don't feel like you're agreeing on a lot. It may not be resulting to like blowout arguments right now um, or sabotage right now, but it definitely feels like there is a lot of action, energy and momentum going in opposite directions. Like somebody's like, well, I want to move and do this. And the other person's like, well, no, we need to stay here and do that. So there's something about conflicting views in your relationship that's causing it to feel like you're drifting apart. Queen of Wands. There could be, um, there could definitely be somebody who is a part of why this is happening. It doesn't have to be romantic. The Knight of Wands is here. Um, Somebody may have met someone new. Somebody could be about to. So there's a message, right? Um, the Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands showed up with the conflict and the going in the different direction. So it could definitely feel like, because that's also your energy, Sag. So it could just feel like this is you, like speaking up for yourself and, and being very, very assertive with what you want and your passions. Um, but I, I am also picking up you know, that there could be some type of um, third party. Somebody could be interested in somebody else or there could be another person that this person is talking to more. It's conflicting or clashing with your person doing for you. So let's see what the queen, I mean, I'm sorry, what the death rebirth is. Seven of Cups. I'm picking up somebody saying, I thought, Things ended. I thought you ended that, right? Because there now there's some confusion confusion in your connection around the ending. The sun is being revealed that something wasn't really um ended. King of Wands. So now we have two. All right. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very strongly. There could be a third party connection where things didn't pick up. Okay. Six of cups. It could be like something where a childhood friend came to visit, you know, you and your person or you introduced somebody could be attracted to somebody outside of the connection, but it didn't go anywhere. Right. They're like, just, that's just my friend. That's just my childhood friend. It feels something like that. Cause the five of swords in the reverse can be not wanting to fight anymore, not wanting to, not feeling like, 
something is worth it as far as like third parties, like somebody could be attracted to somebody else, but I'm not going to take any action towards that because it's not worth it. I'm not going to lose Sag or Sag, you could be not wanting to lose this person. Page of Pentacles. I, I do feel like there's definitely an apology around the corner for you guys. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. There could be an apology and the truth about some things. Ace of Swords. The Two of Cups has been popping up at the bottom. It feels like, you know, the truth is somebody wants to invest more. Yeah, they want to fight for this relationship. Seven of Wands, Two of Wands, another two. So... This is a relationship that's at a crossroads then. I feel like the outcome, at least in this current energy, is to fight for it. That's where we are in your connection, fighting for this. You know, something else isn't worth it. I want to give this one. Somebody could be saying, I want to give this one more try. Let's be more honest with each other. Let's be more clear. Let's bring more clarity to our situation. Um, make a decision here about how to move forward. There's definitely something like that. Let me just see what the five of swords is over here. The moon, some type of secrets. Yeah. So somebody has been like, they have some secret attraction to somebody. But feeling like it would cause like drama with you if they bring it up. So they don't bring it up. But now somebody might go, okay, okay, okay. You know, I am attracted to this person. It doesn't have to be this scenario, right? But a relationship is at a crossroads and it does feel like it could be between, I mean, because somebody is like, maybe things are, maybe the grass is greener. Maybe I do need something new in my life. Even if somebody's not acting on it, that's the thought. That's why we have the two of swords, okay? So Sagittarius, that is what I have for you guys. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, let me know what you think. And if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out thesensage.com.